Please, no more church connection cards that look like this. Why? Well, because the first principle of connect card design is the following. Ready for it? The fewer form fields you display, the more cards you'll have filled out. Plain and simple. Uh, Barna first started releasing data about this in respect to millennials, specifically back in 2015, saying, quote, the only piece of information a sizable majority of millennials is comfortable sharing with the church is their first name. Only half are willing to give their last names and just one third are comfortable sharing their email address. And if you look across generations at how different age groups are providing their personal info in forms online, what you'll see is that the younger you are, the more likely you are to take protective actions, including even filling out forms with fake information. So bottom line, the days of the double-sided connect card being the most effective are in the past. So I set out to design a fresh church connection card. I'm not here to sell it to you. In fact, I'd love for you to have the template for free. I'll share that link closer to the end of the video, but I first need to show you how to customize it and talk about the design decisions that I made so you understand why we're doing things a certain way. So here is what this church connection card design looks like. First, the shape. It's shaped to resemble a postcard and not a flyer like a traditional connect card. And in that way, even the geometry of the design is meant to project friendliness and not promotion. The card is also color coded, and this is immensely important. And we already talked about the first principle of church welcome card design being the fewer form fields you display, the more cards you'll have filled out. I showed you the data that supports that claim. Well, the second principle is this. Less jargon is better. What is a connect card anyway? If you've spent time in the church world, you know, but connect card is a church specific term. And the connect card isn't for people already attending your church, it's for new people. So let's not introduce an unnecessary barrier here by calling the card by an insider term that won't be immediately understood by the exact group of people the card is for. So instead of making the invitation for people to fill out the connect card, adjust that invitation to instead go as follows. Pick up the blue card and scan the QR code on the back. Now, I will admit I was resistant to QR codes for a while, uh, but as they became more prolific during the pandemic and the scanning abilities of our phones improved, uh, remember, before your camera could do the scanning, you had to have an app specifically dedicated just to scanning QR codes. But now it takes just a second to scan a code with your camera app. You don't need to text a number and a keyword. You don't need to type in your church's full website address. All you need to do is scan a code. Now, before we get to the software I use to generate QR codes for free and how to customize the text and colors of your new Connect Card template, I just wanna pause for a very important reason here and highlight the most important difference between our new Connect Card design and the traditional design that we've been referencing. Yes, the new design is a different shape. The design itself is more modern. That's not what I'm referring to. What matters more, in fact, is something that most people will completely overlook. And that is, what is the first thing you're asking someone to do when they encounter the card? Now, why does this matter? It matters because you're asking this new visitor to do something for you and your church. Not only are you asking them to part with some of their contact info, but you actually need them to go through the process of writing it all down. It's, it's a big ask. Here's a little diagram to better understand what I'm talking about. On the bottom left is your new visitor, and on the top right is a completed church connect card that this new visitor has filled out. Now, in our traditional connect card design, we're asking them to go from point A to point B all at once. It's a big ask. And for illustration, here's a dramatic reenactment of what a new visitor will do when they see that traditional connect card for the first time and ponder whether or not they're gonna fill it out and return it. Now, in our new connect card design, we're not asking them to go from point A to point B all at once. In fact, each step on the journey is a baby step and we put the easiest step first so that the visitor can start building momentum on their journey toward the finish line. In the first step, all you need to do is find the blue card and scan the QR code. And by doing this, well, we're actually mirroring a more human way of asking for information. I mean, consider a real conversation that you would have with someone. You don't ask them 10 questions at once, you ask them one at a time. And believe it or not, this is not just the more human approach, it's also the more effective one. According to JotForm, asking for information one step at a time in a form instead of all at once translated to a 36% stronger conversion rate when compared to traditional forms. Now, let me hit pause here because I can feel some of you viscerally reacting through the screen. I need enough of the data. You're spending way too much time sweating the details on a silly connect card. For goodness sake, it doesn't need to be this complicated. We've got bigger things in church to worry about. 
than the color of a card in the back of a pew. And listen, I understand that we will not all see eye to eye on things like this, but I could not disagree with this position more. You know, some say the devil is in the details, I say the delight is in the details. That's just my personality. But ultimately, we need to ask ourselves, why are we doing this in the first place? Why care about a Connect card at all? And the bottom line is this, it is not easy to reach new people today as a church. And so once you've done the hard work of actually getting a new family through your doors, of getting them to watch a service online, it's imperative that we do everything we can to capture their information so they don't simply walk out after service or exit the page never to be heard from again so that we can connect them to pastoral care, so that we can do everything in our power to help them feel at home and know that they belong in this church. And guess what? Every little detail in this process contributes to us achieving that goal or not. And in the same way a preacher will delight in the details of the exhaustive exposition of a scriptural text, in the same way a worship pastor will delight in the details of the mix on a Sunday morning and the transitions between one song to another and how the harmonies are all meant to blend together in our department of church communications, we delight in these details because we know it can make an eternal difference in the lives of the people we care about. All right, let me show you how to customize this Connect Card template. The first thing you'll need is a custom QR code. I've been using qrcodegenerator.com. They've got paid features, but will also allow you to generate QR codes for free. I'll start by pasting in the URL I want to use. Uh, you want to choose no frame for this QR code to best work with our template. And then I like to download the vector version of the code. And this is because we're going to be printing this card. So we want a vector format for the code so that we can maintain the highest quality in our printed materials. Now, before we move on to adding this QR code to the connect card template itself, there's something important here I don't want you to overlook. And that is the actual URL we're going to be using. I would highly recommend that you do not use the actual URL you want people to land on, but instead a URL that redirects people to where you want them to end up, an intermediary, if you will, because if you need to change that final URL ever, and you've already printed a thousand connect cards, well, they're going in the recycling. However, if you're using a redirection link, then you can change that destination URL whenever you want. So I'll show you how to do this using our platform, Nucleus, the premium church website builder for small and mid-sized churches. Most website builders can do this. I'm just showing you the mechanics of how it all works. So in Nucleus, I'll go to web, then manage, and then domain and redirects. And I'm gonna add a new redirect that goes from slash QR dash connect and redirects to the actual destination URL we want people to land on. And the URL I want for the QR code is that dash QR connect URL. So for example, hopechurch.xyz slash QR connect. And now if in 18 months I want to change where we're sending people, I can just change that redirect to field to be the new destination URL. The hopechurch.xyz slash QR connect stays the same and our QR code still works as intended. Next, we're going to edit the Connect Card template in Adobe Illustrator. Again, this is a print-ready design, so we're using Illustrator for that. Let's change the color first. And what's cool about this design is that when you change the primary color here, all the other colors will automatically change to match your main color. The next thing you'll want to change is the URL to match your church's main website domain. This is a nice fallback. If people don't want to scan the QR code for whatever reason, they can still go directly to the website. And it's also useful for helping people to memorize your website, which is, of course, the home for everything related to your church online. We'll change the URL on both sides of the card, just like we changed the primary color on both sides. And now we're gonna drag in our QR code, making sure it is centered in the box provided and done. Save this, it's ready for print. Now, this is not the only card template I want to give you today. We have another one to go along with your Connect card that looks like this. This one is the Next Steps card. If the Connect card is meant for new visitors connecting to your church for the first time, the Next Steps card is for everyone else in your congregation to assist them in taking their next step on any given week. These are the two main cards that we'd recommend having in the seat back of the pews or chairs. Identify them by their colors. And of course, you're welcome to change the colors to match your church's visual identity. There's one more thing I have for you, and that is a 16 by nine screen ready version of both of these cards. Uh, you might be wondering, why are we not using physical cards where you can actually write in form fields? Uh, two of the more important reasons for this are number one, so that we can initiate personal follow-up with people immediately and not wait until someone manually enters the form field details into the church database later in the week. And also because today, many churches run in person and online services. And it's important to me that all new visitors go to the same place when they're connecting to the church, whether they're visiting in person 
or online. So you can use these slides on the projector in the sanctuary while you're talking about these cards each week. That way people could also just scan the QR code on the screen if they wanted. These same slides would be on the screen during online church. And what's nice about this is that instead of using a link, someone can pick up their phone while watching online church on their TV or computer, scan the QR code and connect to the church on their phone while online church is still on the TV or monitor and that way they don't have to click away. If you scan the QR code on the screen right now, you'll find a page where you can access the download link for both of these print ready connect card templates and their accompanying slide templates as well. You'll also find the link for that in the description for this video. Now, you may be wondering, once someone scans the QR code, where are we taking them? Where do they land on our website? And what does the actual form then look like? This video you're on right now is specifically focused on the card itself and its design. The next video you wanna watch is dedicated to the new visitor follow-up sequence that pairs perfectly with this Connect card design. That video is linked on the screen, also in the description below. Meet me there and I'll walk through building up the form and provide you with pre-written email copy for the follow-up we're going to initiate as well.